Hey guys, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink. Today's topic is The Skies Crying by Gary B.B. Coleman. Really cool blues. There are many versions around in the net. And I really like that version because that's really deep bluesy vibe. And uh, not every version is pretty similar like the other ones. This is really adapted exactly to that version. We're going to talk about the chords and a little bit the playing style because the playing is pretty unique of Gary B.B. Coleman. So that's how it's going to sound more or less. You probably know it already. Yo, that's how it's gonna sound. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button. Also, made a premium membership in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy because there you can download this backing track. And the taps here, I don't know this thing by heart, I just wrote it out, uh, <laughs> the way it's played. <laughs> well, at least the chords, just the first. As I said, it's not about the entire thing, it's just the style and how the uh, the song worked with the chords. That's really cool. Let's get started. Okay, guys, um, let's first check out the form, the chords, and what kind of guitar work you can do to this song. If you listen to the track, it's basically drum, bass, and organ, but you still can do a lot of cool guitar work and you need to also know the chords to understand the tune. It's a minor blues in C minor, and the tempo's really slow. It's 43 BPM, so um, it's really slow. That's how it should be in minor blues. And the chords are C minor. This one here, one bar C minor, you make a bar here in the eighth fret, middle finger in the eighth fret, A string damped. One bar, then it goes to F minor, just the normal, which you probably know, bar here in the eighth and like this. Back to C minor, two bars, then F minor, two bars, back to C minor, two bars, and now it gets more interesting. <laughs> We have G minor 7, the same as F minor 7, but here now in the 8th fret, 10th uh, fret. And you make 1, 2, 3, 4. You make this figure in a, a triplet, 1, 2, 3. You go like this down to F minor 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now comes a cool figure. One. That's a really nice turnaround. Let's check that one on that one out. C minor on one. Then we have ten, nine, eight, eight, ten, eight, nine, eight as a double stop. 7, back to C minor, and then 8, 9, and to G7 sharp, 9 here, 10, 9, 10, 11. So the whole thing, 1, 2, yeah, let's play the whole thing with the track now. I need my glasses here because I do the sight reading. <laughs> you 
can do this one two one two three four you know sure. one two three four really slow <laughs> three four Two. now comes the cool part G minor seven That was the rhythm guitar. What you can do, of course, is to make it more the chords more floating. You do a natural chorus, you press against the guitar and you make one, two, three, four, one, two, three, like this. It's really nice. Yeah, good. So <clears throat> that was the rhythm guitar. It's more or less this form. Now let's see the really signature thing of this tune. I really thought why I really love this this version. It's because the intro. <laughs> it's out of tune. <laughs> so um, that's probably that's a signature thing because it's slightly out of tune. That means you do, th and uh, I thought about how did he do that, and it's, it's done like this, probably. It's a double stop here in the um, 15th fret, 16th fret, and you make a bending, and that one uh, is slide out of tune. And then jumps down here to 15, uh, yeah, 15, 16, and down here. down to 13, 12. That's the signature thing for me in this entire tune. That makes the whole thing. So it says one, two, three. Oh, oops, oops, three. Yeah. And then goes to this lick. This is the really typical one here. We end the C minor blues pentatonics. And it's really a there are two typical uh, licks which are played in minor blues. This is one of those. Uh, you make your eighth fret, eight, eleven to eight, pull off, then eleven, eight, eight. See? And then pull off again. And you make a rake. That's a little bit difficult to make the rake here. So, one, two, three. That's the basically the, the intro, which is really the signature part of it. So let's try this with the track. One, two, one. And so on. Yeah. So and now we talk about what what else can you play on this on this tune the typical minor blues thing is the other one this one here bending here in the 10th uh, bar in the 8 so 
10888 pull off 11 to 8 this lick and the other lick these are the two main licks which are used on minor blues and the rest is just pure feeling it doesn't really make sense if I tell you what to play exactly there it's about uh, what he's doing he's doing this double stop on this also this double stop here 878 and this one here you're in the pinky on the 11th 7th and probably also here on the So let's see how we can do this. Here this double stop. Then it goes to the high position. And on this bending here, on this bending here, as I said, I don't think he can, he plays it all the, always the same time, it's just a concept. What is really his signature thing is playing out of tune. This one here. Also, this one doesn't have to be on a perfect pitch. Then you really hit this style. Which is cool because sometimes to not play exactly on pitch is an expression of blues, you know? That's why this song really works. And the rest is pure pentatonics, it's nothing special. You can just play stuff like that. Then one of those licks, or the other. And the rest is pure feeling. There's not really much to say about this. I mean, these are not licks which are played. It's just playing blues, you know. The tone material is C minor pentatonics, but on minor blues, especially when it's so slow, the worst thing you can do is to play too many notes. Just try to play with feeling, you know, bluesy. Also let the music breathe. Out of tune. Now a lick. Probably the other one. really playing much see it's not really a big deal just play with feeling and I call this try to live in the tone what does it mean live in the tone try to listen to each note and what I often do I accelerate the, the vibrato to the, till the end of the note to give a more dramatic expression but that's not really needed but it's just one thing which I used to do which I really strongly recommend see or oh, this see these ones here You want to play this, but you make a kind of a hammer on, but a really fast one. Mm. 
And that's that's exactly what you can do. Also with double stops, here you can also make a vibrate too. Try to really listen to each note and enjoy when you're not playing and listen to the music, you know. Do nothing. These are not licks, it's just a way of playing, feeling the notes, you know. That's why I'm not showing licks, because it makes no sense. It's all the same. Now a lick. See, beside the two licks, which I showed, there are no licks. You just play, feel the note, live in the tone, try to get the vi exactly the tone you want, the vibrator you want. We can uh, take the thing of B.B. Uh, King, who always said uh, he wanted his guitar cry like a baby. That's exactly the thing, you know. Think about this, how do you want your guitar to sound like. Yeah, guys, that was The Skies Crying by Gary B.B. Coleman. Well, one version of and how to play minor blues in this style and also highlighting uh, the special thing in the playing of, of Gary, which I found is the signature thing. As I said, this out-of-tune playing was really cool. Yeah, and also talk about minor blues in general. Live in the tone. That's the, the key phrase which you need to keep in mind to really master minor blues. Minor blues is for me still one of the hardest genres to play because it's so slow that you have so many occasions to play too many notes. The main thing on minor blues is stop playing the unnecessary, unnecessary notes and that's really a a long process till you feel exactly when to place a one note and that's why you cannot talk about licks in minor blues there are no licks it's just to feel when the one note has to come when you feel one when to play one note feel when the next one is coming that's how minor blues works in general yeah good one more to say if you want to download the backing track and the tabs here which are rope for you. They're available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Please join there, make the premium membership upgrade. It's really worth the money. Five bucks per month is really nothing. If you don't wanna make the premium membership upgrade, please join anyway, because you can also discuss there and get more background information. Also post your recordings to interact with other students. Really cool place to go. Also see more of my works, which I'm doing, which probably is in your interest. Probably not, but it's the only social media I'm doing now. I stopped everything else. Good, me and Dr. Pink are saying goodbye to you guys. Gonna play a last sequence for you. Say goodbye and we see us next time, guys.